Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you two different natural and organic deodorants. So you can tailor make these formulas a bit and you can also make them as natural versions or organic versions because I'm using suitable ingredients for you to be able to create both types. Just contact us for full formulation details of both products. Now one thing I want to explain before I get started is there's nothing wrong with antiperspirants and there is nothing wrong with aluminum chlorohydrate that goes into antiperspirants. But it's one of those ingredients where there is misinformation on the internet. And also there's a growing trend of consumers wanting natural and organic products. So if you're looking for a natural and organic way of combating underarm odors, a natural or organic deodorant is the way to achieve this. Now it's really important to uh, make sure you know the difference between a deodorant and an antiperspirant. A deodorant product doesn't stop the sweat from forming. Now sweat itself isn't what smells bad. It's the breakdown products of sweat from the bacteria that naturally occur in your skin and enzymes as part of that process that actually forms the bad odors. So we need to combat these mechanisms using some active ingredients so that the sweat that forms naturally simply doesn't form these byproducts that then have a bad smell. Antiperspirants work by forming an actual little gel clog in the pore to stop the sweat in the first place. And there's nothing wrong with those products or the materials that do that, they're perfectly safe to use. But as mentioned, it's often a consumer choice to look for more natural and organic products these days, which is why I'm showing you two different types of products you can create. So one of the products I'm going to show you today is a organic spray deodorant and the other one is suitable to use in a roll-on mechanism. Now in this spray product you could gel this and also turn it into a roll-on product but I'm going to show you both types so you have the flexibility to create your own type of product. So now let me show you how they're made. The first one I'm going to show you is the spray product and I honestly can't get any easier than this product here. I am going to be using the Karuba Deoplex Organic. It is a certified organic ingredient. Now this deodorizing material works by neutralizing odors by catalyzing the conversion of malodorous substances to their heavier molecular weight salt forms. So they simply don't smell anymore. Now what I'm doing for this product is I have water here and I have an organic hydrosol. Now I've got a fair bit of organic hydrosol. This is actually what's going to give the product a nice light smell. It doesn't oxidize and it's very, very stable. So I'm simply adding that to the water and then I'm adding my Deoplex and then I'm adding my water soluble preservative. I give it a bit of a stir and I need to bring the pH of this down so that the preservative is effective but also by bringing that pH down it's also making a hostile environment for bacteria to survive so it also helps with that antibacterial activity. And there I go, that is my organic spray deodorant. Honestly, could not get any simpler than that. Now you can uh, add some extracts if you want, but remember we don't wanna to add too much to this. We don't wanna make it a really nutrient rich environment for microorganisms. We actually want to stop their proliferation. So just having the organic hydrosol, you can choose your own organic hydrosol that you wanna use and it will change the aroma of the product. It's not overpowering, it's nice and stable and very simple to create. As I mentioned, you could gel this if you wanted to turn it into a roll-on form. Just make sure you use a really light skin fill gel so that there's no tack or residue on application. So that's product number one. Now we're gonna create this roll-on product. Now it's a very light, milky texture. This is what the product looks like here. And it's extremely light on the skin. Now the reason I'm making an emulsion with this formula is I'm using triethyl citrate. That's that material here. It is an ester. It's nice and light skin feel, but I'm also going to add another really light skin feel ester to this, just to help with spread and reduce any residual tack. 
and I'm putting my emulsifier in here. I'm using a non-ionic emulsifier, very, very gentle on the skin as well. I'm going to create my water phase. For this, I'm using some Cosphoderm X Soft. Now, you do need a good non-tacky gum in this formula. Otherwise, you'll get tack and sticky residue. And of course, that is very undesirable under the arms. So I'm using the special grade of xanthan gum so that I have a nice silky skin feel. You could use other natural gums if you like that also have a nice silky skin feel. Definitely not the cheaper grades of xanthan gum, otherwise you could get some residual tack and that's not desirable in an underarm product. So now I have my water phase. I'm just going to heat this up and I'm also going to heat up my oil phase and then make my emulsion. Now the triethyl citrate that I'm using here deactivates enzymes that would normally decompose sweat into their malodorous form. And it also has some antibacterial performance. I'm also going to be reducing the final pH on this product to suit the preservative and also make it a hostile environment for bacteria. So you can see my nice light milky lotion that has formed. Now to this, I'm just going to add my antioxidant, my essential oil, and you can choose which essential oils you use here, tailor make it to suit your target marker, and adding the preservative. I just need to stir these through, and then adjust the pH. And there we have your roll-on emulsion. Now that will increase viscosity slightly overnight, but still super light. Will come out of a rollable mechanism very, very easily and absolutely no tack or residue under the arms once applied. Well, there you go. That's how easy it is to create natural and organic deodorants. Now, I know you're going to want a stick version, so I'll bring a stick version out for you very soon. But in the meantime, it can't get much easier than these products here. Please give the video a thumbs up. Please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating.